Just tell me one thing, Burke. You're going out there to destroy them, right? Not to study, not to bring back, but to wipe them out. That's the plan. You have my word on it. All right, I'm in.
Hope you enjoyed this video and the resulting sculpture. I'm a huge fan of the second film, and I absolutely despise the third film. Um, whoever approved the script for Alien 3 should have been tarred and feathered and forced to swim across a river infested with piranhas. The third film ruined so much of the hard work of James Cameron's second film. They did Hicks and Newt dirty. In Alien 3, within the first 30 seconds, we're told that Hicks is dead. Uh, what did you, how'd you feel when you heard about that? Did they approach you about being in the movie at all? Uh, fuck Alien 3. So I wanted to honor Corporal Hicks, or Michael Bean, who I hope sees this, with his own trophy bust. And uh, this is modeled after the scene where they're escaping um, the alien hive and the APC. And one of them tries to break in to the, the transport vehicle. And uh, Hicks jams his shotgun in its mouth and it blows its head off. So that was the idea, that was the inspiration. I put a lot of extra work in the detail, specifically the silicone that I used. I poured it in different layers of different shore hardnesses. So what I mean is the shore hardness scale um, is the toughness of the silicone, how it feels to touch and how it's how resilient it is. Now the back where the organs here are exposed, this is shore zero, so it's very squishy. If you can see that, it's all gooey. And the head, the skull part, I did in shore 40, which is a lot tougher. The lips are also shore zero, and these are even softer than shore zero, the sinew and the cheeks. I used a, a special deadener um, with a shore zero for that, so they came out really gummy and gooey. And um, the inner mouth is shore 40 for toughness as well. Um, the, upper, the upper gums are shore 10, um, and the teeth are all cold cast aluminum. And the UV effects on the back, here we go. Um, I wanted to offer something that other companies have not done yet. Um, because as far as I know, all the other busts offered by the major studios are plastic. Um, this is the only one that's in platinum silicone. I'll be selling these um, in a limited number. This is only me making them. I couldn't possibly make that many. Um, but if you're interested, there's a link in the description um, to my shop on my website. So uh, let me know if you are keen to grab one. Hopefully I'll have a new video up, maybe even as early as next week, because I've got a character here that I have been sitting on for one of our favorite animes to return, and it is back. So now or never, right guys? So be on the lookout, and let me know what you think of this, and share it to anybody you know that would care to watch the creation, or possibly want to buy one. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Cheers. And thanks to the patrons who help keep Lorecraft moving forward. Cheers.